I am Carrie Yates reporting for City Lights on Novus TV. We are here at the Railway Club for Teen Angst Night, a night where you get to share your most embarrassing teenage writing in front of a very willing audience. We went back to my house later and then fooled around again and tried to stretch it. <laughs> John finished, not me. Oh well, he's been so frustrated with it because it used to hurt so much, but it's getting better the more we do it, which is a lot. Teen Angst is a celebration of inadvertently hilarious adolescent writing. It's an open mic night where people get up and perform the embarrassing stuff that they wrote when they were teenagers. Diaries, poetry, songs. It's a catharsis of your teen angst past. He watched the angels pass him by, looked at them with a sigh. For they moved and he stayed, tied to die and Die and die. People should come to Teen Angst because A, it's hilarious, B, nights like this are popping up all over the states and I've been doing it since 2000, C, if you wrote Teen Angst and you saved it, it's for this reason. People have these binders and you know boxes in their rooms and they don't know what to do with it, this is the reason why. I decided to go for Leo, to hell with Mike. Anyway, just for the record, Mark went for Dom, Mike went for Rebecca, and later on, Haley went for a guy named Chandra, pronounced Chandra. Now, Mark and Dom hate each other. Haley decided she didn't like Chandra anymore. Mike and Rebecca are still together, so are Leo and me, and Chandra and I like each other a lot. Phew! And then there's a little postscript that says, Gross, what possessed me? <laughs> I found out about Teen Angst Nights through a friend, actually, and as soon as I heard about it, I'm like, I have to get some stuff out because I have some hysterical things that I wrote when I was a kid. Well, you know, at the time when you write them, they're really important and really dramatic, and now it's just really funny, and I love just getting a reaction. I'm officially, once and for all, overrun. Can you tell? I absolutely love this feeling because I know for sure this is real. I am sure I still have feelings, but not as strong as before. I don't know if I like to... Apparently I was very... It's pretty exciting. I don't know. It's, they're pretty bad poems, so I always thought that they were really great, and now it's really fun just to laugh at them. A lot of them are about hot, raunchy sex. Let me suck you dry. Pulsate, pumping, I pierce your skin. I'll show you my devil's kiss. I turn you to gold, all shiny and hard, glistening, sweat lubricating it, oh, so making your journey a favorable one. <laughs> By the way, I was a virgin when I was writing these. <laughs> the sex poems ended after the virginity was lost. <laughs> For more teen eggs, go to www.sarabino.com. Now I have a sudden urge to die and die and die. See you next time on City Lights.